Alright, now we're going to discuss guidance setup for auto tracking. In order to set a guidance line, first of all, we have to have a client, a farm, and a field defined because Green Star Guidance is field specific. Every guidance line is tied to a specific field name. So right here from our home page layout, we've got the tracking mode drop down, which we can choose between our different, all of our different tracking modes. We're going to discuss straight track for now. We've got our set track zero which is where we're going to go to define our first line. But then the set track zero menu, in order to set a line we have to name it. This gives us the ability to come back to the line at a later date. You may have some previously created lines you can choose out of the drop down. In our case we're going to create a new one. You can name the line whatever you'd like. Now it's going to ask us what method we'd like to create the line. You got simple A plus B, A plus heading, a latitude and longitude, auto B or latitude and longitude plus heading. We're going to discuss A plus B right now. We've got our, our heading and latitude and longitude, which will populate once we define those. Got a shortcut to our track spacing, which is important if you notice that your track spacing is off. You can get a quick quick shortcut to change that right here. In our case we're going to go ahead and set our A point. Now we can go ahead and start driving. You can either leave the set track zero page active or you can go to set B later, which is nice. It brings up your set B button on the home page. So when you get to the other end of your field, you can simply hit set B. And now we have our line defined. Now we're gonna show you how to use the A plus heading method of creating a guidance line. So you can give yourself a new name choose out of our method drop down A plus heading. Now we get a, our option to set A point. And now we get an option to enter our desired heading. This heading is off of our compass, compass directions, 0 degrees being due north, 90 being east, 180 being south, and 270 being west. In our case, we want to go east, so we'll go ahead and plug in 90 and accept. And now we've got a new line created without, without driving at all. This is very useful for tillage operations, uh, cutting beans, things like that where you're not following a defined row. Now we're going to show you how to create a line by entering latitude and longitude go back to our set track zero, create a new line, choose latitude longitude out of the list. Now it's going to give you an option to enter a latitude and longitude for point A and point B. This is useful if you're wanting to use the same line as another machine and don't have the ability to transfer the lines via data card. You can simply look at his latitude and longitude, plug them in over here, and you'll have the exact same line. Now we're going to show you the auto B method of creating a guidance line. Go to set track zero. choose auto B out of our method. Now you see it only gives us the option to set A, so we'll choose set A. 
and it'll give us the distance to go we'll start driving it'll count down for us how much further we need to go and now it'll have already plugged in our B for us we can accept and we got a new guidance line Auto B is a useful method to use because it's a quick and easy way if you do not know your heading direction and you're again uh, doing tillage or bean cutting for example. It's just a quick and easy way in case you don't know the heading direction you're going. Now we're going to show you the last method of creating a straight line which is lap long plus heading. Choose out of our method drop down, lat long plus heading. This combines some of the previously discussed methods. If you have a point A that you that you know, enter that here, and then your desired heading, which is the compass heading. Enter those and you'll have your line set up and ready to go for you. Now once you have your guidance line defined, in order to engage the line, we simply Hit our steer on off button, toggle that to on, giving the system the knowledge that it's ready to go. Begin moving. Then we can use our resume switch on our armrest. Pick up the line. And now you're auto tracking. In order to deactivate auto track, simply grab the steering wheel, turn it a little bit, and you're back in control. Hit your resume switch at any point to re engage the line. Now you're auto tracking.